The following video introduces how to solve the quadratic equation by examining its graph. And we've kind of covered this concept with the idea of roots, zeros, and x-intercepts. All being different terms based on the context of the problem that we're going to use that represent the same thing. They represent the solutions. So if we were to examine different cases that can exist, there are three outcomes when graphing a quadratic equation and solving. And we're going to examine all three. The first outcome is that there are, and this is the most used case, is there are two solutions. And two solutions means there are going to be two x-intercepts. There are going to be two roots. There are going to be two zeros. Remember, all of these mean the same idea. Two solutions means you're going to have two x-intercepts, which are your roots, which are also your zeros. So if I want to look at an example of this, if we want to graph, what that means is I'm going to have two x-intercepts. So my U-shaped graph, it doesn't matter what it's going to look like. It just has to intersect the x-axis at two separate locations. So I see, because my parabola comes down, here is my x-axis. It's crossing the x-axis, which means it's my x-intercepts. It's at the x equals 0. It's my zeros. They're the solutions. So then I come back up and I see here is my other x-intercept. So the first case that we're going to examine when graphing a quadratic and finding solutions is that there are going to be two solutions in some cases. And you're going to have two x-intercepts. The other case that we have is there may only be one solution for your graph. Now, one solution means there is only going to be one x-intercept, one root, one zero. And so what that means is your quadratic, your parabola, is going to come down, but it can't cross the x-axis. When it crosses the x-axis, we get two solutions. So what's going to happen is your parabola is going to hit the x-axis. It's going to come down, come down, come down, come down. And right at the vertex, it's going to hit that x-axis. And at that very moment, it's going to bounce back to where it came. This is only one x-intercept. It is only one solution. And so what's nice to identify by this is when I explain it, you see that means your vertex is the x-intercept in this case. And when this case occurs, and something that's going to come up in future units is when this happens, we call this a double root. In a later unit, we're going to examine why it's important to understand that if your graph hits the axis and bounces off, we call those double roots, it's going to actually have some type of effect on the equation and the solutions for it. So one solution means that your x-intercept is your vertex. It hits the point and bounces off. The third case for a solution is if you have no solution. There is no x intercept, no solution. And so what happens here, again, you look, if I were just to graph a parabola, I see as soon as I cross that x-axis, I have two solutions. If I rest my vertex on the x-axis, I only have one. So how do I get no solutions? How do I get no x-intercepts? And that's to raise the graph higher so it does not cross the x-axis. 
So no solution graph means there are no x-intercepts. It does not cross the x-axis. We see our lowest point, our vertex, is nowhere near x-axis, it's nowhere near a solution. So I hope this kind of visually introduces the idea of the three possible outcomes of solving a quadratic equation. We can have two solutions, which means we're going to have two x-intercepts. We can have one solution, which means one x-intercept, which happens to be the vertex, or no solutions, the graph will never cross the x-axis, there will be no x-intercepts. So understand these three cases, and we'll look at examples of both all three of these cases in the next video.